the continued fight that that has been going on since before I was even a part of it has all added up to, to the end. And in the end, U.S. men and women's soccer stars will be paid equally. On Wednesday, the men and women's player associations, along with U.S. soccer, made the historical announcement. And this is just a really historic moment um, that will hopefully lead to meaningful changes and progress. The collective bargaining agreement runs through 2028 and will split World Cup prize money and sponsorship revenue 50-50. Part of this deal includes $22 million in back pay and $2 million for charities. Former national player and current U.S. soccer president Sidney Parlow Cohn says she's been working towards equal pay for 20 years, and now a deal is done. It's just such a proud moment to actually be a leader in this, to be the first to do it. The U.S. women's soccer team is the reigning World Cup champions and for the last 30 years has been considered one of the most dominating clubs in the world. While the men's team, which does show promise ahead of the next World Cup, failed to qualify for the last tournament. Still, based on the last World Cup pay scale, men were paid $8 million compared to women's $750,000 for making it to the group round. Winning it all only paid the women $4 million. If the men would have won, they would have gotten $38 million. The men's team had to take a pay cut. Sure, there was a potential chance of making less money. We believe in... Uh, the whole premise of equal pay, and ultimately that was a big driving force for us. Women get paid less to do the same job. The 2021 HBO documentary LFG gave watchers a look inside the fight for equal pay for the women's national team. Even though I'm on the USA team, I have to coach just to make ends meet. 28 players sued U.S. soccer over equal pay, and in February, a settlement was made. Months later, history was made. And of course, there are conversations about ad revenue and sponsorships, but this could become a, a big a trend we see here. This could change uh, professional athletes and, and how they make their money in the future, especially when you think about women's basketball, for example, where in the NBA, the average basketball player makes about four, uh, five million dollars a year compared to women who make closer to one hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year. Reporting live at Bank of California Stadium, Pedro Vera, KTLA 5 News.